By now, you've reviewed the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division videos that I've made. You've done all the online quizzes. You've aced them all. And now you've reached this stage over here where we're going to put all those things together. If you need a reminder on how to do some of these things, you may have to go back and rewatch some of those videos. I've drawn a triangle here because it's going to help guide us towards the answer. We've got all of these numbers put together. We're going to have to figure out what the answer is. You've remembered, you probably remember this here, bed mass. Remember what it stands for? The B brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. Okay, that's the order that we have to go in. We're going to go from the B all the way down this way in that order. However, once you get to division and multiplication, whichever one comes first, you do first. How do you decide which one comes first? Pretty simple. You go left to right in the equation. You go from this way, you go that way, and you see which one comes first. You see here it's multiplying first, dividing is last. Okay, so you do that in that order. Likewise, once you get to addition and subtraction, and all the division and multiplication have been solved, you're at addition, subtraction, whichever one comes first between these two, you are going to solve in that order. Now, that being said, we have to start with brackets. Are there any brackets? Yes, there are. There are many brackets in this equation. There's a bracket here, bracket, 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 bracket. We have five sets of brackets. However, look inside the brackets. Is there anything to solve? Look inside of this pair here. There's a nine. Is it asking us to do anything with the nine? No. It's simply a nine sitting in the brackets. How about the next set of brackets? It says negative seven. Can we do anything with it? Is it asking us to do anything with that negative seven? No, nothing in the brackets here. Nothing in this bracket, nothing in here that indicates we need to do anything with the numbers. So we are done with the brackets. There's nothing to do. Exponents, you don't know anything about them, but they're not in this equation. We can keep rolling along. Division, multiplication, whichever one comes first. Now look, I'm gonna underline this, you should too, put a box around it. We have to solve this one first. Let's do this. That's the only thing I'm going to do. I'm not going to touch anything else here. So 9 times negative 7, look, that's a positive times a negative always makes a negative. 9 times 7 is 63. So negative 63. Everything else does what? Drops down. Positive 5 po plus negative 6 divided by negative 3. Okay, so we've done the multiplication part, but now we have to do the division. And it's over here, so I'm going to put a box around it. You should too. Now look, here there was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms. In the next row now we have 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. You can probably guess what we're going to get in the next one. We should get 3. Look, what's negative 6 divided by negative 3? Negative divided by negative is positive. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Put it in the brackets. What do we do with all that other stuff? Right, it falls down. We'll go positive 5 in brackets. We'll put a takeaway subtraction here. We're going to put negative 63 in brackets beside it. We have three, one, two, three. We're gonna have two in the next one if we're doing it right, but what's left over? We're done division, multiplication. The only thing remaining is addition and subtraction. Whichever one comes first, you do first. Subtraction it is. What's negative 63 minus positive five? Remember the shortcut I taught you in that video. Look at these symbols. If they are different, we go left. We start at negative 63. Here's my mental number line. I'm going to go to the left five times. Negative 64, negative 65, negative 66, 67, negative 68 is my answer for that. And then everything else falls down. Positive 2. There we go. Now we just have addition left over. We're going to solve this. Look, if the signs are the same, you go to the right. Here's my negative 68. I'm going to go to the right two times. So I'm going to go negative 67, negative 66. And that's the answer. Here we have 
A little bit more complicated question. Complicated doesn't mean hard. We got bed mass again. Brackets. These brackets are useless. There's nothing inside of them except for a number. Here, nothing to do. Here, nothing to do. Here, we have lots to do. So once we go into the bracket, we're going to do bed mass again. So we're inside the bracket. Now there's only one thing to do, and it's addition. So look, we have different signs. Remember that trick? That means we go to the left. We start at 15, positive 15. We go to the left six times. We go one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to end up at 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, positive 9. Put them in brackets. Everything else is in brackets. May as well put him in brackets. Look, once we're done, the br we don't need those brackets anymore once we're done with them. Once we solve inside that bracket, we don't need these big brackets anymore. We're done with them. So I'm just going to put my answer there. I'm going to put my division sign, my negative 3. I'm going to put my negative over here. I'm going to put negative 7. I'm going to put times. And I'm going to squish that 9 in there. Now what do I have? I'm done brackets. Any more brackets? We got these brackets, but they're useless, as we said. So we're done, the B. We go to the exponents, and we look, and we see nothing. So we scribble it. Division and multiplication, whichever one comes first. In this case, multiplication comes first. Multiply them. Put a box around them. Positive times negative is negative. 9 times 7, 63. Put it in brackets. And then drop everything else. Minus, positive 9. We got divide. We've got negative 3. Look, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms here. Here we have 4 terms. Here we have 3. We're almost at the answer. We're going to get 2 next. What do we do now? We have subtraction and we have division. We're going to do division first. So we're going to put a box around division. We're going to go positive divided by negative is a negative. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3, and then everything else drops. It's getting tight down here. We're going to get the answer, which is the last number remaining. Look, we have a minus. We have subtractions. So we're going to go to that subtraction trick. Remember what it is? You circle these ones. If they're the same, you go to the right. We'll make our number line. We're going to go three spots to the right. Numbers are getting bigger. So negative 62, negative 61, negative 60. In brackets again. I've expanded the brackets. So we'll reveal bed mass. We got brackets first. This bracket's useless, useless. We got a big monster bracket in here. What do we do first? We have to do bed mass in the brackets. We have addition and we have division. Right, division comes first. So we'll put a box around the division part. We're going to say negative divided by a negative is a positive. 6 divided by 3 is 2. We got to bring down, now put it in brackets so you don't get mixed up. We'll bring this plus sign down. We'll bring the positive 15 down. Slow this part down. We're not done inside the brackets yet. So we got to put them back on. You see there were three numbers. Now there's two. We still need those brackets. We'll put that minus sign. We'll put negative 7. We're going to put negative 9 multiplied. Okay, so everything else looks normal. Now we still have bracket work to do. So we're going to look inside. We have addition. So we'll box this addition. Now, positive 15 plus positive 2. We're going to go to the right. So it's going to be 17. Positive 17 in brackets, its own bracket. But these big brackets are done. We have nothing else to solve inside there. So they're gone. Poof. And then we're going to drop down this minus sign. We're going to drop down the negative 7. We're going to drop down the negative 9 multiplied. Negative 9 multiplied. What's left? We're done division. Or sorry, 
We're done brackets. All this work was just bracket work. Now, we have times and we've got subtraction. Multiplication works. Look, we have no exponents. We have no more division. We've got multiplication. So what's a negative times a negative? Positive. You positive about that? Yeah, I'm positive about that. We got 9 times 7 is 63. We've got our minus sign is going to drop down. And our positive 17 is going to come down there. Now look, we have subtraction left over. So we're done everything. There's no addition. We just have subtraction left. Now look at this. The, the rule for subtraction is look at these two signs. If they're different, go to the left. Here's 63 on our number line. We're going to go to the left. So we're going to pretty much subtract. We're going backwards, baby. We're going 17 backwards. That's 63 minus 17. You know what that is. 63 minus 17. If you don't, you can do this. That's going to make 6. We're going to get positive 46. That is negative. We're going backwards 17 minus 17. So we get our answer to be positive. Ah!